Hello everybody, this is me and today I have a little weekend vlog for you guys and this month actually Pony Magazine's come out with a new issue and they have an issue on Olympia which is very exciting because I'll be at Olympia this year for a meet up on Friday the 21st of December in the live zone at 11.30 and also in this issue they have an article on different schooling exercises which is great because Casper is a horse that likes to do lots of different things, he gets a bit bored if he does the same thing all the time and um, so they actually have a really cool exercise on bending which is great for suppleness so I'm going to try that out today so the exercise is putting out some bending poles and they're all about nine meters apart so let's go set up the bending poles okay so I've just set up the exercise we just put these jump stands to be the poles that we're going to be bending around and um, you can see here they're about nine meter, meter intervals so let's see what Casper thinks My goodness that exercise was so much fun Casper was absolutely loving it and um, it was actually really good because after we did all the pole bending I decided to just canter him round large around the school and his canter was so nice so powerful it had so much impulsion he felt so much more supple and he got such a nice canter at the end after doing that exercise so it shows that just by doing a few little exercises shaking it up a bit doing something exciting for your horse at the end of it you can get like a really nice canter you can get like a really nice trot and that exercise definitely worked so well for Casper but I think he's very tired now so should we get you in put your rug on give you some treats and some hay mate yeah <laughs> good boy hello everybody it's now Saturday the next day and today I have a couple of errands that I need to run like horsey things so today I'm going to be cleaning my saddle because it really needs some love and care because I haven't cleaned it for a while um, so I'm going to be doing that so down here I have some water and I also have a sponge and some saddle soap that I'm going to be using and then after I'm going to condition it so it's going to have a nice good old clean okay so now I just need to roll up my sleeves and get cleaning So now I'm just using a little bit of water and saddle soap on a sponge which really doesn't have that much watering because you don't want to make your saddle too wet just to get off the bits of dust and grime. <laughs> These bits always get so dirty. I think it's because it's really low down near where so I'm gonna get a lot of water and soap on that because it's just so disgusting.
And now for the other side. <laughs> So whenever I clean my tack, I always like to feel down the panels here, just check my saddle to make sure it's all good in general, check all the stitching so you don't want the stitching to be loose and cause an accident. But also Casper is a little bit like the princess and the pea because whenever I feel down here and there's a lump, he usually tells me that he is finding his saddle uncomfortable. So here I can feel that the flocking has bunched up into a couple of little lumps that might be causing him some discomfort. So I will be getting the saddle fitted out in a bit. Just just to make sure that it's all nice and smooth and comfortable for him. So yeah, it's a bit lumpy. Okay, so now I'm going to be using some leather conditioner on my saddle just to make sure that it stays soft and supple. Okay, so now my saddle is nice and clean and sparkling until next time I ride it'll get muddy because it's currently the mud season and everything just gets covered in mud and gets dirty so quickly. I was actually going to ride now but the thing is it is getting dark and I've got a geography essay to do and A-levels are just generally a lot of work. So I'm going to enter in some clips of when I last went show jumping with Scarlet a couple of weeks ago which was so much fun so enjoy those! So high, I would kiss the sky. It'd be so, so right, so right, so right. If I could only fly, I would fly so high. I would kiss the sky. It'd be so, so right, so right. I am now here in the guinea pigs shed because it is a little bit messy at the moment and they need a little bit of a clean out so they're actually in here at the moment so I'm gonna put them out in their outdoor run for the day and then I'm gonna give them a good old clean up Now the guinea pig shed is all nice and clean, I'm going to put them back. So should we put you down then, Holly?
likes and nothing guinea pig.